Welcome back guys to another video. I'm Big Spoon and we are playing some Animal Crossing New Horizons today. If you're new to the channel, I just want to welcome you. Thank you for joining us today and uh, we're going to have an awesome time. So, um, let's see here. Let me get this thing set up real fast. Um, so today, we're going to be checking out a ton of awesome winter islands in Animal Crossing. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys the dream addresses. And you'll get to uh, check those out if you want to see them on your uh, on your game as well. So I'll be sharing those. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, my voice might sound a little bit more clean. I got a microphone over Christmas break, so it should sound a little bit more fresh today. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, Bank AK, what's up, man? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining. Uh, without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to jump in and get started. So the first dream address... I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the towns too. So the first one is called Blush Fairies Winter Fairy Core Island. And uh, here's the description about the island. It says, this is a beautiful fairy core winter wonderland, which is full of fairy aesthetic and come with the most creative idea. It features a little ice skating rink. It has a Christmas fairy circle and more. Uh, so apparently it's well worth a visit and it's going to give us an illusion of being in a beautiful wonderland. So we're going to see if that's the case. Let's check it out. All right, the dream address we got, it says it is 8418, we got 3998, and we got 3588, Blush Fairies Winter Fairy Core. All right, let's see what this is all about. Let's see how this hype's going. Bank AK, man, it was good. It was nice. You got to hang out with family. <laughs> went to a lot of houses, to be honest. Went to my parents' house. Uh, went to my grandparents' house. Went to my in-laws' house. And back to my house. Man, just tons of driving all over the place. Uh, but it was great, man. It's always good spending time with family. Getting to spend time with loved ones. We played a little bit of bingo at my grandparents' house. I won twice, by the way. I won legitimately, believe it or not. And uh, I, got a, I got a prize. It was uh, One of them was... A dark chocolate Reese's peanut butter cup, which Reese's peanut butter cups are my favorite. I actually just drank a peanut butter cup shake about an hour ago, so it was delicious. And then um, my wife got a bacon uh, peanut butter cup. And I've, I never had bacon peanut butter cups. I didn't know those existed. So we're going to see how that turns out. But yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. How was your holiday? But I got to say, though, that bingo lasted a long time. I was not expecting it to last as long as it did, but it probably took about an hour and a half to get done with that. And there was tons of prizes involved with bingo as well. Uh, did I share the stream on Discord? You know, whenever I go live or whenever videos are posted on YouTube, it automatically posts in the announcement section on Discord. So if anybody wants to join in, then uh, the stream is definitely in there for people to click on and watch. All right. Blush Fairies Island. Let's check this place out. Okay, here's the map. Wow, this place looks big. This is going to be a lot to explore. Oh, look, just right off the bat, we see a gingerbread man, and it looks like... can't really pick out what that is. It looks like mushrooms, but it kind of looks like peppermint at the same time. Not really sure on that. Oh, dude, look at this tree. Oh, wow, that looks good. You got the snowflakes. See, I don't have this much decorations yet. You got the snowflakes to match the color of it. Man, that looks good. That looks really good. This really is a winter, uh, winter wonderland. Beware of fairies. <laughs> Hopefully they're not fairies that are going to come kill me. Okay, so that's the entrance. Celebrated on the 7th of January. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys celebrate on the 7th of January? What's your, what's your religion, if you don't mind me asking? Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Don't you just love the sound that it makes whenever your your villager steps on the snow? Just hearing that sound. Got the reindeer, got the pink mailbox. It's safe to say this person really loves pink stuff. Got a little pink poodle down there. Man, I can only imagine how long this island took to make. I'm impressed though. Another pink tree. Man, these trees look good. Wow. Oh, you got a little stump out there on the water with the mushrooms growing on it. <laughs> That's great. 
And see, it feels so cool. Like, I don't know how to describe the feeling, but just walking in between these tall cliffs it just makes it feel more adventurous. What do we got over here? Uh, what is that? Is that a flower on the ground? I can't, I can't tell what that white thing is. So you got like a little boutique shop over there. Orthodox, 7th of January, we celebrate Christmas. I'm from S Serbia. Uh, really like Russian, but smaller. Orthodox. I didn't know Orthodox celebrated on the 7th. What's up, Isaiah? Thanks for joining the stream, Isaiah. Okay, yeah, those are, yeah, those are peppermints on the ground. Okay, I thought they were. I was like, they're either peppermints or they're mushrooms. Not really sure, but okay. Dang, they got a lot of star fragments over here. They just have a whole massive collection going on. Oh, double waterfalls. Oh yeah, gotta have that double waterfall. It's not a it's not a wonderland if you don't have a double waterfall, right? Okay, pink flowers. Yep, we got that as uh, an accent. To this amazing. Yeah, blue goes good with that too. Blue and pink are really good colors. Okay, so the beach has like just a lot of uh, crystal shards scattered throughout got some shells on the beach there's the shop and another tree another another pink tree but yeah we got a lot of really cool islands coming to you guys today so if you're into winter if winter is your favorite season if you like playing animal crossing man you're gonna you're gonna see some really good stuff today got a little pink model house oh the lights turn on inside there <laughs> That's so cool. What do we got up here? There's music coming from somewhere. So I th oh, oh oh there's a little passageway right there. Okay, we got let's uh let's go to the left first. Let's see what's over here. And I don't have a pole vault. See that's too bad. If you don't if if you don't have uh okay, you can just hop over there. It's too bad you can't bring your tools to these islands, like your ladder. I mean, come on, at least at least let me bring my ladder and my my pole vault, I mean, come on. At least you can hop across that way. Fallen Remixes. Hey, what's going on, Fallen Remixes? All right, so we made it over here to uh, the museum. I don't know if there's anything behind here or if this is just the museum. Okay, so the museum is in its own little crevice. Dude, that mushroom looks so sweet. That is awesome. Okay, beware of the fairies. I, this is my second sign that I've seen, so now I feel like there's a fairy that's going to pop out and and just terrify me and scare me from the backside. Where's the fairies? We're going fairy hunting, boys. Hey, there's the mushroom again. That looks good. Okay, another tree. I think I've counted four trees so far. Four pink trees that we've seen. This is the first present we've seen. Man, what a peaceful island. We got our first mini tree that lights up. That is nice. Yeah, honestly, not a bad star for our first island, huh? Yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, uh, Ben KK, you might know of AJ. There's This is our fifth pink tree. You might know of AJ Plays. He's one of our, um, he's on our Discord channel. And, uh, dude, like, he's put together the Mario Party games, he's put together those fashion shows that we've done, and no joke, like, he has, I don't know, I didn't know this was an item in this game, that's so cool. Um, he spent, if you look at his gamer card, it's about a thousand hours in Animal Crossing. It just blows my mind how much time he's put into it, man. It's absolutely insane. I, you know, for mine, I've probably put in maybe like honestly like the most i do playing this game i usually live stream and I, I visit people's islands and i've done like games like hide and seek and stuff like that in the past uh it's like a little village down here but uh i haven't really spent a lot of time actually building up my island so if i had to count all the hours that i've actually spent building my island it's maybe like 30 or 40, I would say. Not a whole lot. But yeah, AJ did a really good job on uh, on that uh, Mario Party game, man. That was so much fun. Especially whenever we had the mini games incorporated in there. That was a good time. That was a really good time. 
All right, so we're almost done with this island. We've seen most of it. It keeps on saying beware of the fairies, and you know what? I haven't seen any fairies yet. Maybe the fairies are in the back corner. Hmm. Maybe. Or maybe they're on a hiatus right now. Maybe they don't appear in the wintertime. Oh, and look at a giant conch shell. Whoa. I don't know where you get that from. But, uh, yeah. This is our first island, so, uh... Oh, no, I didn't mean to report this. I didn't mean to report that. No, we we don't want to do that. That's that's mean. I was trying to actually leave the dream. I think you have to go all the way back. Yeah, you have to go all the way back to Luna, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why you can't just press the plus button and, and leave the island, but hey, I didn't make the rules of this game. All right, let's see if we can find our way back to Luna. And then we'll go check out the next island. Okay, so that's a dead end. It's kind of like a maze. An amazing maze. Yeah, dude, it looks good. This is a good island. Check out my bed. You guys like how comfy this looks? Wouldn't you love to sleep on this? You know you would. Don't lie. All right, so that was our first island, and just a reminder for that one, that one was called Blush Fairies Winter Fairy Core Island. Now, to give you a little sneak peek at the next one, this next one is called, uh, I think it's called Tian, I think that's how you pronounce it. And here's a little description on this island. It says, this is a natural woodland theme island, features Marshall Bucks, whatever that is, uh, Abel's Marketplace, Dark Forest, a sushi restaurant, museum walk-up and merch stand, and more. 95% of these island sites are accessible via stone or dirt paths. You don't need to hop over any furniture. Thank you. Uh, you don't need a vault or a ladder to see anything. Perfect. This is my kind of island. This is my kind of place. My, my villager looks like he is getting out of a coma. And he's about to go back into a coma. Okay. We're back in the comatose state. Our villager's very tired today. And he just wants to lucid dream all day. All right. Okay, dream address. Here we go. We got six, four, three, nine, two, four, nine, six, and four, five, eight, zero. That's the one. There's one coming up that I'm really, really excited to show you guys. And uh, the one that I'm talking about, it's actually a... It's one of the pictures on the thumbnail. The one that has the two, uh, the two lit up deers on there. It's going to be so sweet. I'm so excited about that. One of Game Theory's videos is on Animal Crossing. He says that the villager might have had a rare disorder where he sees actual people as animals. <laughs> you know, I I wouldn't be surprised, man. <laughs> I like that theory, actually. That's that's a good theory. Just uh, just taking a look at the map on here, you can see like there's look at all the rivers going through this place. Wow. This looks like it's going to be a really promising place. What's up with all the stuff in the front, though? Okay, I'm excited about this one. Okay. 
Yeah, this is this is a good setup for the shop down here. You got uh, got a little fun area. We got got the teacups. Spin till you barf. Got some darts. Yeah, we got a little little boardwalk action going down here. It feels like California. Okay, what else do we got over here? We got we got the scooter. We got the bike. Oh, what is this? What is this area? Oh, this is so cool. It's like a, it's like a, just a coffee shit. Like there's your Starbucks. You got a, there's a Starbucks chick as a squirrel. Yeah, you got a little coffee shop. You got your, your live music. That's a nice little area. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Call it the Cafe KK. All right, got the fishing area, got the low Joy-Con battery. I love it. Okay. What is this? Oh, ooh, they have a they have a lookout area. I've never seen any island Animal Crossing that has this kind of setup yet, where you just go up a ramp and you just take a look over the horizon. That's something brand new. But hey, that's cool. Oh, you got the shower stalls. That's nice. And actual showers. That's a good setup they got going on right there. Very cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can, I can tell this is... I think this is a step up from the last island, honestly. Oh, you got the agricultural area. Got the melons growing. Which bounce on the ground for whatever reason. Yeah, this is nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, what else do we got? Man, let's see more. Alright, up here. Yep, oh, got the Able Sister Shop. We got, man, look at all. They really went all out up here. They got, like, every kind of merchandise you could ever dream of having in front of their shop that fits perfectly with the theme. The sewing. You got all these uh, different machines. You got the, the clothing items. Like, man, they went all out on this. Okay, going on up a little bit. The festive archway. Oh, uh, I like I like this area for some reason. Just this bridge with the snow on it and this uh, light lantern down there. That's just a really nice view. Another festive archway. He says that the animals the the villager sees are specific to the character's traits. Like Blathers is an owl because he's smart, or Isabel is a dog because she's loyal and respectful. Hey, I could, I could see that, you know. That's a good theory. AJ, what's going on, dude? How's it going? Hey, we were just talking about you, man. We were talking about how how many hours these people spent on their islands, and uh, we were talking about AJ. I was like, dude, AJ spent, like, thousands of hours. Maybe not thousands. Maybe, like, hundreds of hours on his island. But, uh, yeah, man. I know you put that time and effort in. I know you did your time. I'm not sure if you updated your island with a lot of winter theme stuff, but I saw those pictures that you sent, man, with uh, all those winter items. You got me beat, bro. I can't beat that. I can't top that at all. All right, so that is a... I don't think we can go this way. That looks like it's uh, probably a dead end, so we're going to keep on going down. And uh, we're going to head to the right a little bit. All right, what do we got over here? Okay, we got the plaza. Nice. Okay, so we're about halfway done with this island. Mona Lisa's. Why do they have Mona Lisa right there? We'll go up there in a second. Let's check out over here real fast. Alright. Okay, we already went over there. I could have hopped there the whole time. Alright, let's see what this Mona Lisa painting is all about. What is, what is this right here? I can't figure out what that is. Okay, leading up to the museum. All right, all right. Got got my naked bro over there. Got it all hanging out. He's got nothing to hide. All right, all right. Yeah, that's good. Got a little boardwalk action going on. Got the binoculars. That's cool. That's cool. I can dig it. See, they also got a lot of these... Uh, 
these little star fragments around too on this island, kind of like the last one that we saw. Yeah, man, I might need to see that Winter Island. I might need to check it out sometime. All right, Ben KK, thanks for joining in, bro. Hope you have a good night, and I'll catch you later. Oh, 1,080 hours. I I'm sorry. 1,080, not 1,000. We got to be precise. If you put in that much time, we got to be accurate with that. All right, we got the excavation site. Got all the fossils. I like it. Yeah. All right, we're just hopping on along here. Let's hop onto the riot. Oh, big jump. All right, so this is, uh, can I get over this way? Oh, wait, oh, 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 oh. No, nope, they blocked it off. He also says that the reason we can find actual animals like the bird and the owl or the frog or the snail is because they're actual animals. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought was kind of weird too. Whenever I saw the trailer for this game, I was like, there's actually owl. I mean, I know in the past games, there's, you know, other animals too. Of course, you catch creatures and all that stuff, but I don't know. It's just kind of a weird thought, you know? It's like you're on an island with, I mean, honestly, giant animals that talk, and then there's other creatures that are, you know, smaller scale, and uh, you wonder who's the real animal. <laughs> Unless, like, your villagers are genetically modified, of course. That could be the case, too. All right, I'm just like, I'm getting stuck on this island, man. Just like hopping all around. How do I get out of here? Okay, there we go. Let's head to the right. Ooh, all the rocks, man. All right, we see, oh, there's like a neighborhood over here. All these villager houses. Ooh, basketball core. Got the tricycles, nice. I see AJ just hopped on Animal Crossing. I see that updating that address. Got a little playground over here. Yeah. We got the slide. Man, I wish you could just jump on this. Just belly flop in the water. That'd be so sick. All right, what else do we got? Got the race car beds. I know, I know, Isaiah, it's just a theory, but hey. We should just ask the game developers and see what the truth is about that. Let's uncover the truth. See? Giant. Giant animal. Adorable giant animal. Dang, look at all this fruit storage. Wow. They're stocked up for days. And weeks. Ooh. Got some space stuff going on. We gotta, oh, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. All right. I think we've seen pretty much the whole island here. All right, let's head back. We're gonna go back on my comfy bed. And uh, we're going to head off to the next island and see some more winter goodness. All right. Let's find our way back here. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the map again. And yeah, we're, we're kind of almost there. Oh, we didn't see this up here yet. Looks good. I mean, I like this. I like this island. There's just something about the snow, too, that just really adds a feeling of warmth to this game. Warmth and comfort. I just like the way the, the snow looks on the trees. It just looks so, uh, I don't know, just so relaxing.
Okay, so taking a little sneak peek at the next island, this next one, let me get it pulled up here. So this next island is called, where is it at? Okay, so this is the one that I was talking about earlier where uh, this is a thumbnail. This is part of the thumbnail uh, on the video. And this is the one that has those uh, those lit up deer on it. So I'm excited to see this one. It looks really promising. And this one is called uh, Kualran. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I mispronounce it, I apologize for that. But a uh, little sneak peek on what it says. Bundle yourself up and come visit this five-star Hallow Winter Island uh, where the holidays are celebrated every day. Sip on some hot cocoa while enjoying all the Christmas and Halloween decorations. I see what they did there, the Hallow Winter Island. I see what you did there. This sounds good. This sounds like a Hallmark dream destination where it's always Christmas every day in the world of Hallmark. Okay. Let's get this dream address pulled up. Okay, so the address for this one is 4290-2669-9220. All right. That's the one. All right, we're going to Hallmark Land. Kua Ran. It's a cool name for an island. By the way, for those of you that are in this stream, uh, AJ Plays, who just commented his Island of Astoria, if you haven't seen his island, I highly recommend going to check it out. He's got so much, he's got so much going on there. It's absolutely crazy. Like words can't even describe how how cool it is. So check out his place if you haven't done that already. You're welcome, AJ. Just gave you a shout out, bro. All right. Oh, see, this is what I like. I mean. A mixture of Halloween and Christmas like honestly I've never seen anything like it before so I'm really excited to check this out this is just it's such a, a vibrant and attention getting entrance I'm already liking this place I love check this out look at this I gotta take a screenshot you got Santa's reindeer you got you don't have all 12 or however many there are, but you got Rudolph in the front with the red nose. I don't know how they did that. I don't know if that came in this game or what, but that is epic. That is so cool. And you even got Santa's outfit over here on the left side. That That's so sweet. I wonder if we can go up there somehow. I'm just so excited here. Look at this. You got the tree, all these Halloween decorations. This is nuts. But on, this is a cool park area. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, look at this little, little romantic dinner you can take your your little loved villager to oh this is so exciting i'm so stoked okay what else do we got you got you got this pathway outlined with halloween decorations and Oh, you got Halloween on the left side and Christmas on the right side. Okay, I wonder if that's how the island is set up, where all the Halloween's on the left, if that if that theme kind of continues. Let's check out the left side first and see if that's the case. Now I'm really curious to know. I, I wonder if I can get back there. Okay, cool. Uh, can we get back there this way? Yes, we can. Ah, oh, I got the Christmas lights on the ground, red and green alternating. Oh, this is so cool. I didn't know this was an item. The, the trees that are just frozen, that's so sweet. Alright, so we got to the other side right there. Alright.
Oh, look at the ground. I, I just now noticed the ground is even uh, covered with the snowflake patterns as well. Man, they did, they did a really good job on this place. And they even knew that was one of my favorite KK songs too. It's like they knew I was coming to this island. Campground. I like this on the beach actually. This is a good setup for this. All right. So okay, got the got the Honolulu, got the luau going on. Okay. Ooh, Mr. Krabs. Arr, money, 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 money. All right, all right. So far, it looks good. Okay, okay. What else do we got? We got a library on the beach. Because is there any other way to do it? All right, so far looks good. Christopher Gaming, what's going on, dude? All right, what is... Oh, like, look at this. Like, even from a further distance, you can see they, they turned it into, like, this haunted house. Wow. Should we check it out? That's that's so crazy how they did that, man. Kelsey Gaming, what's going on? Accidentally clicked on the video and begged my mom for Animal Crossing, and then now me watching his live after finishing grinding the game. <laughs> All right. So, uh, very, really spooky atmosphere going on here, man. Yeah, they really hit the mood, like, spot on here. Okay, and here we got uh, two coffins. Ooh. Oh, my. This is such a dark place. And uh, you got this, like, conductor... Oh, he's, uh, he's like, it's like a funeral. He's like reading off, like, uh, obituaries on them or something like that. Man, what a spooky place. What else do we got? Uh, I guess we can't access those back rooms because there's a lot of stuff cluttering the way, but that's all right. I mean... Those back rooms might make you wet your pants even more than what you already are. Alright, they have an upstairs and a downstairs. <laughs> I wonder what we're going to see up here. Okay, uh, like a dining area. So weird. And like those mannequins back there, they have like these masks on. Like these. Looks like it's like a paper bag from back here. Dude, that is so. That's so creepy. By the way, for those of you that are new to the channel, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and kick that. Uh, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future uploads. And uh, also, if you want to join a Discord uh, full of Animal Crossing fans and uh, chat with a great group of people, you can always join our Discord. Check the link in the description box below the video and you can join that as well. And then of course on there you can post your dream addresses, you can post your turn up prices and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, I got the pumpkin patch. Yeah, you gotta have that. Oh, we got a little bit of Christmas decorations going on over here, too. Oh, no way! Ice skating! We found it! Oh, this is so cool! And it's not like it just has one tree in the middle. They got three trees! Oh! We need some ice skates! 
That's so cool. I like it. Okay. And we got a little little cafe area over here. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, so we've seen pretty much all of the left side of the island from what I know of. So now, I think it's time we check out the right side of the island. Let's see if this side sticks with that Christmas theme. Alright, let's see. How do we get back over to the other side? I'm trying to remember which way we go for that. I guess it's up here. That's right. Um, I don't... I think we've been this way before. Oh, no. We, wait, we haven't seen this yet. We haven't seen it. There's a graveyard. Got all the ghosts. The spooky ghosts. Alright, well, let's go ahead and check out the back side while we're over here. Oh, I love how each... Uh, I guess each house has a Christmas tree on them. That's so awesome. A little Christmas tree to the side of the house. That is nice. Man, they did such a good job just making this feel like a neighborhood. Everything is so cohesive and well put together. Everything just kind of... Oh, this is it. This is it. This is the thumbnail right here. That is great. Okay, so I wonder if this is like supposed to be the North Pole. Maybe Santa Claus is up here. We're going to check out that house in a second. Let's check out what's over here first. All right, so we got a carnival area. Oh my gosh, look at all these pumpkins. How many bells do you have to have to buy all this stuff? This is unbelievable. Like, I'm just in complete shock right now. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it lands on. Am I going to be lucky? Oh! Sometimes you miss. Okay, let's... Let's check this place out. I'm so excited to see what's inside here. The first thing I thought of when I walked in was uh, Disney's Frozen. Especially with that dress. I just thought of like Elsa. But this is like so epic. Wow. Just like take a look and just absorb this. Pretty magical. Not bad. Alright, we got the kitchen. Gotta have the sweets for Santa. Yeah. All right, Isaiah, thanks for joining in, bro. Hope you have a good one. We'll catch you later. What have we got in here? We got a... Uh... Not... Oh, that's not a bad setup. Wouldn't you just love to just chill in a tub like this and just watch TV? I kind of like what they did here. I think this is just a fireplace and they just... Yeah, they just turned it around to where it looks like a... Just a fancy table. I like that. I never thought about really doing that. But I like how they have the walls blocking off the areas, and then of course, like they have they have this wall art and it just it just makes it look like a window with snow on the outside. This is so neat. I like it. Oh wait, hold on, we forgot to go upstairs and downstairs. I forgot there was an upstairs and downstairs in this one. We gotta go back and check it out. Ooh. Wow. 
Purple galore. I gotta say, the little accents of the pink colors go really nice with this. And you got the TV mounted on the wall. Yeah, what, what is that? What is that a picture of up there? I can't even tell what that is. Like some anime type character? Can't really tell. Man, that's so detailed. Not gonna lie. Pretty impressed with this island so far. Got a hangout area, got the couch to have your friends over. Dang, big table. You can hang out with all your friends in this place. But this is like, this is kind of like a bachelor's pad, you know, and like a, just a cool little hangout spot. I think those frozen trees might be my, my new favorite item now. Alright, so we toured the house. Ooh! Very cool. Let's just, let's just sit down. Take in the view of all the trees. All the gifts. Yeah, it's a good mixture of Halloween and, and winter. They did a really good job mixing these two together. All right, so up here, we've got an orchard. <laughs> they have it lit up. You got the red lighting up the front one, green lighting up the front one, and alternating colors. That's neat. I'm back to Halloween, okay. Uh, it's supposed to be a wedding. <laughs> You know, it's kind of funny too. I think they intentionally did this to where behind the skeletons they have uh, what appears to be like a dress and like, I don't know, I guess like male and female attire. That's so funny how they did that. Very creative. Huh. All right, we just got to check out the bottom half of this place, and then I think that's pretty much it. What does it say? Oh, beach. Got a relaxing area over here. Yeah, that wedding setup was just nuts. Just uh, the creativity of this cr uh, this creator is just just really something else. You got the spa area, man. I like that. I like it. especially having the walls to separate the areas. Yeah, I think we've seen pretty much everything on here. Let's see if we can work our way back to uh, to the town hall. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. What? What is this? How do you get how do you get a silver tree? Is that really an item in this game? I've never seen that before. That's so crazy. Alright, this is probably my new favorite island now. Wow, that was a pretty good one. I don't know if we're going to be able to top that. But let's see if there are any other islands that we got for winter. That was Kua Ran. Um, let's see here.
There's one called Fortune. It says, Fortune is a five-star island based in the Southern Hemisphere with 690 hours of playtime. It features many Oriental, modern, and nature-themed areas, such as an Oriental tea room and massage parlor, a Zen picnic area, a bamboo forest, a wedding aisle, a beachside resort, playground, and more. All right, let's see what else we got. There's one called Frostine, and it says this one is a nightlife magic rainbow winter wonderland. It features an entrance designed for hosting spin the wheel events, stargazing area, Zen garden, uh, opalescent beaches, diagonal land bridges, paths decked out with uh, rainbow flowers and lights, a fashion show stage, vanity room upstairs on the left, and judges lounge spa area on the right. All right. And then we got one called Purgatory. It says this is a five star, totally normal, white themed island with a lot of natural decoration. The island was designed to loop around itself, so there's no definite path to take. In the plaza, there are also essential tools laid out to enhance your dream experience. Okay, so that one just has a lot of white all over the place. And then the last one we have is Willow Bell. It says Willow Bell is a five star winter medieval theme island that features a white large castle. Uh, beach campground, ice sculpture park, pirate style outdoor restaurant, beautiful terraforming designs. I think that's the one. I think that's going to be the winner that we're going to check out. Sounds very, very cool. Especially the ice sculpture park. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Okay, let's get to where we can check that one out here. What's up, girl? Thanks for joining in. Hope you had a good holiday season. We're just checking out some Dream Islands. You do anything cool for uh, New Year's? Anybody do anything exciting? And uh, you know what? I'm gonna post the link for you guys. There is a, uh, you know, I, I can post these dream codes in the description box, so I'll do that. Um, after this video, guys, I'm gonna post all these dream codes in the description box so you can check them out on your own time if you wanna see them again. Uh, all right, so we got the Island of Willow Bell. Okay, let's see what the, the dream code is for this. All right, so we got nine, seven, six, four, and thirteen, ninety one. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to answer one of the questions I see. So, um, Christopher Gaming. So, the way I'm visiting all these is if you go lay down on one of your beds, or in my case, <laughs> your weight bench. <laughs> If you go lay down on a surface in your house, if you have one of those items, you can dream and then you can type in the dream address. Uh, going to someone's island by visiting Dodo Airlines is different than what I'm doing right now. So there are different things. If you go to someone's island by visiting Dodo Airlines, you can interact with those people live. But if you're going to a dream address like this, then it's just you going by yourself. The load times clearly, as you can see, aren't as long as if you were to go on Dodo Airlines. So... Maybe they maybe they re-updated this. It's not wintry. Ah, oh, dang. I guess they redid their island, so I guess we'll go check something else out. <laughs> Never mind on that one. Okay, let's go check out a different one. Chloe, what's up? Thanks for joining the stream. New kitty. All right. What kind of what kind of cat is it? Is it a Siamese cat? I like me some Siamese cats. All right, Big Spoon, got to wake up from that coma. All right, we're going back in that coma. Man, I'm going to I'm going to get so fat if I just keep on sleeping like this. Is that a dab, Kelsey? Is that a dab emoji? Do the dab. 
All right, let's check out a different one because that one obviously they must have re-updated that dream or something like that. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, for some reason it looks like spring there. All right. So the other one that sounded interesting, uh, we have an all-white island called Purgatory. We saw a pink one earlier. Uh, Frostine is pretty much rainbow. And Fortune uh, just just has like a mixture of stuff. Let's go see... Let's go see Purgatory. Let's go to a really, really white place. Alright, so the Dodo code for this one... We got 9246... 2262... And then 8556. How do you get a dream? Uh, you have to go inside your house and you have to lay down on a bed. You can lay down on a weight bench like what I'm doing, a uh, boxing mat, anything that you can lay down on. Then uh, Luna, this uh, ant eater, should come up to you and she should uh, tell you that you're you're dreaming really heavily and she'll she'll let you type in an address. Um, just make sure that your game is updated because this came out in an update. I think it was like maybe a month ago, something like that. But yeah, that's all you got to do. But um, I gotta be honest, like, the dream address, I think it's actually a lot better than doing Dota Airlines. Oh, look at that, he's showing all of it. <laughs> Not something I wanted to see. Um, but, uh, what was I gonna say? But yeah, it's a lot better just because, oh, he's got it showing too, man. Alright, strut your stuff. Okay, so, welcome to Purgatory. Um, I, I got sidetracked because I got all this junk showing in my face. Uh, so I think it's a lot better just because, like I said earlier, it just takes a long time for the loading times if you're, if you're flying on Dodo Airlines, but on Dream Addresses, it just, it takes literally like 10 seconds and you're on the island already. So that's what I like about it. Watch out. What are we, what are we watching out for? Is it the is it the men with their nuts hanging out? Because if that's not it, I don't know what I'm looking for. But yeah, they they weren't lying about all the white stuff. The, you got a you got an astronaut over here too. That's nice. Okay. But uh, yeah, this is a nice little place so far. I'm I'm liking it. Okay, can we go over here? Is this going to be a dead end? Alright, let's see where we're going here. Yeah. Yep, there's the Japanese garden. Oh, look at the ground design. Look at the sand, the circular sand patterns. That is nice. Now they just need to throw a rake in this area. They can rake their sand in that, that little pattern they got. Yeah, I'm liking this Japanese, like the bonsai tree. Yeah, the, oh, the waterfall too, nice. All right, so we got the Japanese area up there. Okay, what else?
when do I stream? You know, it's kind of, it, it used to be more consistent back uh, in the summertime when I had a lot more time, but now working full time, things get really hectic for those of you that work full time. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I've been on winter break recently, so I've been able to stream a little bit more, make a little bit more videos, but live streaming, it's, it's kind of sporadic. I don't really have a set day and time that I do it. But uh, I keep you guys updated on Discord of what happens. So if you haven't joined the Discord server, you can go ahead and uh, click the Discord link in the description box below the video, and you can uh, join our Discord server. We talk about Animal Crossing on there and uh, you know other games as well. So if you're interested, you can join that, and I'll make sure to let you guys know when I'm streaming next. But uh, I have honestly, I haven't played Animal Crossing in a while. I haven't streamed this game in a while. But I thought, you know what? It's winter time. You know, let's check out some winter islands and do something a little bit different. And so that's what we're doing. All right, AJ, let's see what you got. Updated your house, added a Christmas section, added some Christmas decorations around the island. You did all that within the last hour? Dude, you must have been really dedicated to get that done so quick. New villager, Louie. I haven't seen Louie. I don't know what Louie looks like. Uh, no, I didn't stream AJ's Island. I haven't seen his island yet. He sent me some pictures because I saw that he got all the winter islands, or not all the winter islands. He got all the, like, the winter items from uh, Christmas for the, the toy day. And so he sent me a couple pictures of that, and it looks pretty good. But no, I haven't seen his island yet. All right, what do we got up here? Uh, look at their flag. I'm just now noticing this. Just a bloody hand as your flag. That's, uh... I bet the chicken did it. It's all his fault. They must really love astronauts. That's like the third astronaut I've seen on this island. Fourth astronaut. Just kidding. What? The, there's a dog that moves? An, like an animatronic dog? I didn't, I didn't know they had those as an item on here. Oh, we got a wheelchair. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of sketchy. A wheelchair with a with a light post with blood at the bottom of it, because that's not creepy at all. Such a violent place, and you got all these like creepy dolls around here, dude. I'm I'm so scared. What's gonna happen? The gnome's gonna push me down the wishing well. He looks suspicious. I know he's up to something. Hey, this one's a Dalmatian dog. And you have like this ritualistic type area up here and it's kind of creepy. All right, all right. Dog one's a Christmas toys that probably flush that moves and talks. Oh, it actually talks too. Yeah, I thought I heard it making sounds. What does it say though? Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can find it again. Let's see. Good doggy. Good doggy. Good doggy. Dude, that's so cool. How many dogs? How many different variations of the dog are there? There was a Dalmatian. I forgot what the other breed was down there that we saw earlier. I wonder if they have a German Shepherd or like a Wiener dog. Okay, so let's see. How do we get down? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, okay, okay. It was the Dalmatian as well. Five or six variations? No way. Dude, I need to see what those are. I might need to go on a hunt for all five or six of them and just collect them and scatter them throughout my island or put them all in my house so I can have six pets. Yeah, seriously, this is not a bad place. Like, it, it's, uh, it definitely very vibrant. In the boxing. <laughs> oh, I got the arcade, yes! Ooh. Looking good, my man.
Alright. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, I'm just trying to avoid all the blood around here. Let's just pretend that it didn't exist. We're just gonna walk over that. There's uh, nothing to see here. Just uh, some blood lying around. We all know the chicken did it. It's all his fault. Why would you get on a treadmill? Like, just imagine, like, get on, throw the chicken on this treadmill, boot the treadmill up to its highest speed, the chicken falls in the water. He can't keep up with the treadmill, he just goes flying in the water. That's actually fun to do. If you have any stuffed animals, I actually did this before. We used to have a treadmill. We used to put it on its highest speed. We used to put our stuffed animals on the treadmill and just watch the stuffed animals fly off of it and hit the wall. Uh, we also did it with our cat. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing that to a live animal, but oh man, don't don't take after my examples. And I also did it to myself before I jumped on the treadmill and I flew off of it. It was not a very fun experience. Yes, the chicken did it. It's all the chicken's fault because a squirrel would never do anything like that. Okay, uh, there could be the baby doll that did it, or it could be an astronaut, but we're, we're gonna say it's the chicken, just because it makes me feel better. Alright, so this is the island of Purgatory. I thought I came by this way, didn't did I not? I could have swore that I came by this way. Uh, let's see, how do I get back? Maybe, maybe I'm stuck in purgatory. <laughs> maybe I can't get out. See, the chicken did do it. There's a picture to prove it right there. Look at it. He did it. It's all his fault. Guys, I think I'm stuck in purgatory. Like, <laughs> I seriously think I'm stuck in purgatory. Aesthetic Galaxy, thanks, although... To be honest, this isn't my island. We're actually touring a lot of different winter islands in this video. And uh, this one's called Purgatory. And believe it or not, I'm actually stuck inside Purgatory right now. Just kidding, I got out. You know, the only way to know for sure who did this is if we test the DNA of the blood. And you know, I don't have a ladder because whenever you, uh, let's see. I don't have, no, I don't have my tools. Yeah, whenever you tour islands, you can't bring your tools with you. I think that the creators of this place can uh, provide you with tools in the front. I, th I think you can use those if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. But no, I don't, ha I don't have any tools with me. I wish I did. I wish they would let me bring my trusty pole vault. But uh, they don't want me to do that. Because they want me to stay in purgatory forever. All right, can we go on the backside? Is this going to loop me around? Oh, a giant... Crab? What in the world? I, how does that even exist? How is that an item? I never even knew about that. This is how you escape purgatory. And there's a wedding going on in purgatory with blood all around. That's terrifying. Gotta be honest. The chicken did it. It's all his fault. He didn't do a very great job covering it up. But, hey, that's what I'm saying. That's Chicken's fault. Um, dude, he should have left a pole water ladder. He should have. That would have been the nice thing to do, but he's not very nice. This is like a maze, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, I'm so lost in this place. I'm just like hoping, I'm, I'm going in circles here, and I'm just like, please, where can I get out of this place? Now it's all a matter of trying to get out of purgatory. That's the that's the biggest thing now, and I can't even find my way out. How did I even get myself into this mess in the first place? Funny thing is that you're uh, you're playing Animal Crossing, dude. Aesthetic Galaxy, go to purgatory right now. I'll give you the dream address. Go to this place, get lost, and try and find your way out. Cause I I'm just completely lost. Let's look at the map here. I'm gonna take a bigger look at the map. That's right, Christopher Gaming. I sounded exactly like Donald Trump because, quite honestly, I I am Donald Trump. And 
I do a fantastic job. The greatest president of all time. You'll never see anything like it. Um, so where are we at? This is not a very helpful map. I can't see the pathways of where I'm supposed to go. Um, can we go down here? Oh, dead end. Where are we going? If you guys can help me figure out how to leave this place. Let's see who, uh, let's see who knows their way out of here. I don't think we can get out this way, honestly. I'm really thinking that we can't get out this way. So that's a dead end. Yeah, we went we went that way before. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more shot. Oh, I didn't even try this before. Yeah, I, I could close the game, but that's no fun. I gotta find my way out, man. I gotta take on the challenge. Oh, <gasps> yes, I remember being in this place. Is it meant to be a maze, dude? I I was wondering the same exact thing as you. <laughs> At first, I was like, this is a pretty cool dream. And then I got lost in this place, and I was like, how do I get my way out of here? But <laughs> I think we might have found our way. Um, let's see, how did we get over here in the first place? Did we go this way? No, we didn't go that way. But hey, man, if you want a maze to go through, I'll give you the dream address, and you can check this place out. As a matter of fact, I am going to type in the dream address for these places here in a little bit on the uh, on the description box so you guys can check that out if you want to. Let's see. Do we go up this way? Oh, oh, oh. We're almost there, guys. Come on, little buddy. Maybe all the warning signs of watch out mean like, watch out because you're about to get lost in this crazy maze. Finally, we made it out of purgatory. Oh man. Yes, please let me wake up from this dream. Uh, okay, so Kelsey, I don't, I don't know. If you have a bed in there, try laying down in it. Um, if it doesn't let you do it, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if you have to upgrade to a house or not, to be honest. Uh, but whenever the update came out, I had a house in here already. I just I just laid down on the bed and you were just able to go to dreams. But I want to say, I don't know. I don't know. If it doesn't work right now, then maybe it's after you get a house that it might work. Okay. So that one was called Purgatory. And uh, there's another one that we have. And there's one called, let's see. So Frostline is the Rainbow Winter Wonderland. Fortune was the one that had 600, 690 hours of playtime with Oriental Modern nature themed areas. Um, I'm kind of thinking, hmm. Let's check out the Rainbow one real fast. And then uh, we'll, we'll head off. Alright, so we got one, three, seven, nine. Okay, so this one's called Frostine. Yeah, Kelsey Gaming. Also, if you need any, um, if you need any help on like how to get all the tools in Animal Crossing, if you want to look up uh, how to get town tunes and how to get the hourly music, because uh, if you have a tent, I think you're still listening to the same track over and over, if I remember right. But 
I have a video playlist on my channel. I've made videos on how to get all the tools in Animal Crossing. Um, I made a video on town tune ideas that have like 50, 100 town tunes. I have some uh, custom design videos, tons of things on Animal Crossing. So feel free to check out my channel, uh, check out the playlist that says Animal Crossing and you can see all sorts of great things that can help you out in this game since, uh, since it seems like you're new to the game, I'm guessing you probably got it for Christmas. And also, yeah, there's also one of how to get all the shops. Like, you're going to have... I don't want to spoil it for you in case you don't want to know, but if you want to see how to get all the shops, have a video on that. You can uh, check out as well. That can help you out. Okay. Island of uh, Frosting. All the rainbow colors, man. Skittles taste the rainbow. Man, where are we going to go first? Let's go down to the lower left corner. Oh, that, that's, how cool is this? Like, it's a rainbow island, but there's also the aurora lights with all these different colors going on in the sky, too. How cool is that? Very cool. Oh, yeah, you already know this is going to be a cool place. Frostine. Makes me want some... some uh, some frosting. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little centerpiece for this area. I like that item a lot. Uh, Kelsey, we'll, we'll do your amazing... You're my new favorite YouTuber. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully the videos help you out. If you ever need any help, just let me know. You can... Uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you can always join our Discord server. Check out the link in the description box, and you can always uh, send me a message on there if you need any help with anything. And also, there's a lot of other good people on there, too, as well, like Chinita Queen Girl, AJ Plays, all these other great peeps are on there, too, you can chat with. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm able to help you out. I know this game can definitely seem overwhelming starting off, so. Um, this is the neighborhood. I like when people do this whenever they have the villager's face just plastered all over the floor. So that way you know who lives there. But I also like the the walls they put up too. I'm going to build a wall. It's going to be the biggest wall you'll ever see in the history of our country. Yeah, nice neighborhood. Trinity Queen's like, girl, yes! Check that out. Look at those rainbow lights, man. So epic. They got the dreamy villagers. Look at this. Look at these archways. Oh, that's so sick. I might need to take a photo of that. That's so cool. I need to I need to get me in there. Okay, let's let's do this. I've never seen anything like this before. This is just such an inviting pathway, just having these different colored archways right there. And you got it again. Oh, it's so cool. Ooh. Look at this. Oh. Check. Okay, we got to get we got to bust out the camera for this. This is so sick. I got to post this on Instagram. This is totally Instagram worthy. Of course, I mean in the game. I, I wouldn't post that in real life. A Christmas fashion show. Dude, oh, I totally forgot about that. I thought yeah, we were supposed to do that. I Dude, I, I totally slipped my mind. But whenever we did it for the Halloween fashion show, that was pretty cool, man. That turned out well. Um, I gotta see the inside of their house now. Does anyone respond to your build work? Because my villagers don't, and I, I don't know if my villagers hate me or they just don't respond. Um, I don't think they really respond on there. I think it's mainly meant for other players that visit your island to respond if they want to. I don't know if villagers have ever responded to the billboard. Um, I know sometimes they can send you mail, just kind of out of the blue. I, I think if you send someone mail, they'll reply to you and send something back. Or if you talk to them after you send a the mail, they'll they'll say like, hey, thanks for the mail. I appreciate the nice gift that you gave for me. But uh, yeah, I don't think that they respond to the billboard very much at all. Which is kind of weird. You think they would though, to make it more interactive, make it more of like an interacting experience. This is something I can back up right here. Look at this. All the trees, man. 
I love my trees. I'm a tree hugger. <laughs> Are we in the rainbow track in Mario Kart right now? Dude, this is Rainbow Road in real life. That's exactly where we are right now. This is a little taste, believe it or not, this is a little taste of what, what Rainbow Road is going to be like in Mario Kart 9. This is a little sneak peek. No, I'm just kidding. It'd be nice to get a Mario Kart 9, though. But I don't know. I would hope that maybe they would announce a Mario Kart 9 next year, but we'll see. Ooh. Andadi C. I feel like a seaman. All right, let's check out the rest of this island and see what else we got over here. I've had a low battery for like the past hour and a half and it's still on that. I'm surprised it's still on. So neat, just like uh, what are these light up plants? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bad bad guy and just leave that light off. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'll be nice, even though it doesn't matter because you're in a dream anyway. It would kind of bother me if it was off. Um, how do you write mail? So now it's not a dumb question because you might be new to the game, and that's all right. We're all new to this. Uh, we all we're all new at some point. So all you got to do is you got to go to your shop and. You get one of the envelopes. You know what? Actually, I think they know they have it. They changed it up. It's actually at the Dodo Airlines. They sell mail there. Go to Dodo Airlines, uh, buy some mail, and then write whatever you want to write on there. And then um, you send it off. I think you, I think you put it in your mailbox if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've sent mail, but that should be how you do it. That's a cool little walkway up there. Uh, knowing Nintendo, we wouldn't get one until the next console since Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is doing so well. Yeah, you know, you're probably right, but at the same time, I'm just thinking, like, it's it's a port. It's not even really a new game. You know, they have a few new characters, and they have battle modes and all that stuff, but it's not a brand new Mario Kart game. This is a cool little area. I like that area right here. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I would kind of think that they would want a brand new Mario Kart experience on the Switch. But it makes me wonder when they're going to have a new Nintendo console now. Uh, the Dream Address, Aesthetic Galaxy. I do. I can, I'm going to actually copy and paste it for you right now. And I'm going to copy and paste all these in the description box below the video here in just a little bit. But since you asked for it, my man, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you right now. Ask and you shall receive. All right, I'm going to go ahead and type it in for you right now, bro. All right, Frostine, boom, there you go. Enjoy. All right, let's let's uh, let's finish this place up. You bet, any time, man. All right, oh, we got a little tribute to all the villagers over here. That's pretty cool. All their little buddies. I like the white and blue colors they got over here. They go so well together. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's right. My bad, AJ. Yeah, you're right. That's right. Yeah, you send it off through Dodo Airlines. It's just, it's so different than past games. I was just thinking of uh, old school Animal Crossing games of, <laughs> of how you send mail on those. But yeah, thanks AJ for pointing that out. Thanks for correcting us on that. But yeah, this is the uh, Frostine Island, man. Look at all these colors going on. It's so epic. I think that's so funny how they have a reindeer and has a red nose in this game. Look at this. Oh, they got the villagers on the ground again. Wow. How magical is this? It's like Disneyland for Animal Crossing players. I think we've seen about everything. All right. 
Hey, they got a little uh, billboard sign. They got the official artwork of Frostine. Um, yeah, Kelsey, in that case, you're you're pretty new into the game, so you'll have to progress in the game a little bit. You know, whether it's like open your museum first or get a house first, and then um, I think it might be maybe after a few days, because this game runs by days. Like, you can only do things after so many days, then it'll let you uh, access those med message cards, because that's bringing back flashbacks. I remember that happening to me too, where I couldn't get those access to those message cards yet. So just keep working on the game, do what it's asking you to do, uh, like collect those animals and creatures and donate to Blathers. Um, or I think you might have to bring it to Tom Nook actually, or one of the Nooklings before you get the museum. And then, uh, yeah, just progress, keep going. And then after a couple days, you'll get access to those cards and messages. But uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. We saw a few different winter islands. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said earlier, I'm going to be posting all these dream addresses in the description box below the video. So check that out here in just a couple minutes and I'll have that updated so you can check those out on your own time. And uh, that's pretty much it for the stream. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And like I said, if you're new to Animal Crossing, got a lot of videos that can help you out, uh, like how to get all the shops, all the tools, uh, get some town tune ideas, custom designs, all that good stuff. I even have videos to help you out with uh, learning how to unlock the custom design feature and all that good stuff. So check those out. Um, and again, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have an awesome New Year's and I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay sweet guys and happy New Year. Catch y'all later. Bye.